Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. Um, this is my second time. There's nothing I love more than repeating myself, right? Uh, the first time I did it, it didn't record correctly. So I had to recut everything, but I'm gonna show you how to do this awesome little guy right here. So if you see these little slits right here, these are for your lights. So when you take out the slit, the little paper, then the light turns on. Um, you put it back in and it's all good. So the other thing, <laughs> it was just a day of nonsense. I took my picture of, you know, this little guy here and I forgot to put these back. So it went for more than 24 hours straight and it's dying. So like right now, you can kind of still see it's flashing, but it's, it's a little bit on the dim side. But I've had other samples for for quite some time and if you think about 24 hours it's a long time right because you have these lights going on for like maybe 10 minutes at a time then you put it away and then you can save it i've had samples that are still working amazingly so it's not the lights it was definitely user error but i absolutely love this one of the things that we're going to talk about today is how to make a cake topper that's layered and yet still stable, right? Look, it's on one dowel and I can spin this thing and it's not gonna fall apart. One of the main things is to have a full outline of your, of your cake topper. So I like to weld everything. So like everything's gonna go on this piece here. This one is the back. So the dowel is gonna go in between this one and this one so that from the back, what you'll see is this. It's a little bit cleaner, right? And to me, you know, it's clean enough that it doesn't have to line up like this. That doesn't bother me. And on this side, uh, you don't, you know, you don't really see it. Um, so what we're hiding is in between. It's going to be lopsided because we have, we have the um, the lights in there. The lights are kind of thick, so you can see. If we had just the wooden dowel, you can, you know, it would probably come out and look more even. But to me, this still looks really good. So um, I, I think it's good enough to sell, but that's just me, uh, you know, my my personal opinion. <laughs> but look at how I mean, I just love it. It's so stinking cute. So let's make it again. <laughs> All right. So here is the thing that everything is going on top of. So let's start by doing our flag. So I'm just gonna put all the pieces on here. Oh, but one of the things, so when we were designing this originally, I forgot to slice out the lights because the, you know, the little cutouts, because you can see we sliced it out here on the white so that our light bulb or a little light thing will go through and you can still see it. So I did it for everything, but I forgot to slice it out on this little guy. So you can see we did it on both of these pieces, but forgot on here. So what you wanna do is you wanna put this down where it's gonna go, and let's remove this for a second. And I'm gonna take my blade and just cut right here. And I'm gonna do it on this side as well. Now the other option that you have is, depending on how much light, how bright you wanna make this, you could even like trim this out and then put volume paper. So that will, um, you know, that will make the lights shine through more. The other thing I wanna point out is if you notice, the two cars are different. It's the same design, but this is matte paper and this is glossy paper. So you can see how different they look. Um, so I have to tell you though, I was surprised at how much I like this matte paper. It sort of feels like, um, like a little rubbery. So it's not like matte matte, like where it's so plain. It has like, um, I don't know how else to describe it. It has like a very vinyl feel to it. So it doesn't, the colors may look more dull, but I would never describe this as dull if I only saw this. So, but now you know. Um, I've always, I don't think I've ever had this needle uh, needle products of the matte 
um, before. And so uh, my favorite is the glossy. But you know, you shouldn't be surprised, right? Glossy, glitter, that, I mean, that's what speaks to me. But, um, but I'm a fan of this. I'm surprised at how much I like it. It just feels really cool. And it has like this, um, I don't know, this like rubber look to it. I can't describe it. All right. <laughs> so, okay, so we cut this out of the back. So, and I didn't do a really good job of cutting it because I just wanted to trace you know, to get an idea of where the lights will be. So I'm just going to trim it like this and just pull it out as well as on this side. And when I posted this video originally, well, it was just a reel, so it wasn't like the full on video, but a lot of you guys had comments or reached out to me personally about the lights about how, you know, where did they go? How did I put them in? So I will definitely show you, but the, here's the side view. So you can see it kind of pops out a little bit, um, but it's kind of hidden so you don't really see it in the back. You don't really notice it in the back. The, no, the only thing you notice are the slits. All right, putting that aside, um, let's go back to this. Okay, so because we didn't do this in design space, I you know forgot that step. You can see that our lights on this side is completely covered by this. So again, I'm going to now flip this over and cut through here so that the white glitter will not be blocking our light. So these are extra steps because I didn't think of it, but it's good because you know, it's gonna happen going to happen to you in other projects and now you know how to fix it we could even cut this a little bit which I think I will so I'm going to flip this over and cut on this side just so that we can really see the lights come through okay so we've got this down I love this design of the flag because it looks so detailed, but it's all one piece. <laughs> That's why I like it. Okay. So let's see. Same thing with the black here. It's going to come through a little bit. So let's slice this out. Okay. All right, so with this, what I like to do is put some foam tape down. So you wanna make sure that you hit the foam tape um, in all the like little areas just to support it because it's a big piece. You don't want it to sink in one place. So you wanna make sure, let me see if this is a better view. You can kind of see where it is. So we're gonna put, um, the foam squares all around just to support this big flag. Now I like the consistency that it gives me using the foam squares, the height. However, I hate this portion of it, which is peeling off the stickers. It's ridiculous to me. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions on how to not deal with it, I would love it. I hate it. It's <laughs> I really do because it's such a pain like peeling this off and then the little tabbies like they stick to, it's so staticky, it sticks to my fingers. It's all over my craft room. So it's not my favorite. Okay, and then we should put some right here to support this thing as well. So let's put this down. Now, um, I usually, now this is just for me because I'm doing a tutorial. It's part of the fans thing. So with my fans video on Creative Fabrica, what I'm doing is they get a sneak peek for a whole week and then I'll release it to the public, to you guys. Um, so if you want to join that, that's on Creative Fabrica. It's also in my profile under Creative Fabrica fans. So, whoa. right, I didn't peel off the stickers yet. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Uh, why, why should you join fans? Um, I would say it just gives you a lot more access to me. So your emails are priority. Um, you, this is a request someone mentioned on a coffee chat, which is um, coffee chat times are 
30 minutes each week and you can just pop on. It's sort of like office hours if you want to, you know, think of it that way. I'm there for you to ask any questions. And it could just be if you're the only one that pops in, I can give you a lesson. We can talk about, you know, how I would approach something, whatever it is. Um, it's my time for you guys. And then there's a monthly project. And like I said, this was this was a special request for, I think she's making it for her son's birthday. So you guys also have a lot of say in my projects for YouTube. So anyway, that is done. Now let's look at the sticker, or we could do the six. So if you remember, this has basically two layers of foam, right? One behind the white and one behind the black. I want my six to stick out a little bit more. So I'm gonna make sure that my six it has two layers, but I'm gonna want three layers of foam tape. So maybe I'll do double on the white and then a single on the, on the red. So this is gonna pop out a little bit more than my flag. So let's do that right now. So here is my foam tape here. I'm gonna do another one up here. So I'm gonna peel this off, this layer off, and I'm just pushing it down to really activate the glue and the stickiness to get it to kind of, you know, really stick. Um, so I'm going to take this layer off and then I'm going to double up. So I'm going to add another layer of foam tape. Oh, this thing drives me crazy. Oh, and then while we're talking, because this part is just silliness, um, if you guys haven't had a chance, I just want to talk to you about um, crafting for cubs. So that's my passion project. And um, Barely Arts is supporting me on it, as well as a lot of other vendors. But Barely Arts is the one that's, you know, really doing the main work because they have it up on their website and they're collecting it and they're going to send it out to the foster kids. So what I'm asking the crafting community to do is um, get some Ziploc bags, the gallon size. And for every, um, every Ziploc bag is one craft kid craft kit for a foster kid. So um, you fill it up with whatever goodness, whatever represents crafting to you and it fits in a Ziploc bag. Um, we're go you're gonna then send it to Barely Art and then they will send it out to um, different foster agencies and the foster kids will get to create, um, have access to beautiful paper that you know I get excited about as a grown woman who can go buy my own supplies, right? And I still get excited when I see beautiful paper. And so, um, you know, you can fill it with whatever, washi tape, your own stickers um, that you make. Um, I'm personally going to be doing um, quite a few stickers um, in themes. And then um, I also did like a couple cutouts, which I have over here. I'll grab it later because it's on the other side of my art room. All right, let me pick this up to show you and then I'll get back to crafting with kids. So you can see the six is sticking out a little bit more. So I love this because it just gives it so much um, more to the cake topper than if it was all flat. So, but that's a personal preference. So I get it. If you don't want to use the foam tape, it's all good. Um, but I really like the layers. I like the different textures. So um, right now everything is glitter, but we've got the sticker on there. When we're done with this, you see that we also have that foil, like that metallic foil. It really does look like a car to me. Um, so just like a mix of everything, and that's always great. Like between the layering and the different types of materials, it really does make a difference in your overall project. All right, back to crafting with kids. Um, well, in a minute, because we gotta do the cars. So the car, I always like to have my stickers on, um, you know, on cardstock so that it's firm and then I can easily place it on something else. Now on this one, I did do an offset on top of that, I just like the different layers. So let's look, let's grab this sticker. Now the stickers I cut on washi tape setting. And then um, I just keep hitting the C until when I go to test it out, it lifts up completely. So that's usually cutting two times or three times. 
but I like it because then it ends up being perfect, whichever one it is. Okay, so on this one, you see how I cut out the lights here, but I didn't here, so let me show you what it looks like. So can you see? I know I have my lights on, so it's kind of hard to see. In person, I mean, the lights are definitely going. So it's up to you. Let me grab the volume paper. I'm coming. I should have pulled this out earlier. But here's the volume paper. So if you wanted to, because it looks kind of weird, like with just an empty space, so I would want to put something like this on and then put the lights on. So you can see the difference between the lights. That one's definitely way brighter than this one, right? So um, if you want to do that, all I would do is I would just trace this paper so it fits, you know, right over here. All right, let's just do it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use just scissors because it's so much easier. So basically, let's cut this out, right? So and I do get a lot of questions on my little pink knife. So this is from Excel Blades. It's super sharp. I love it. I cut my foam board with it, um, and now I just use it for everything. So let's do this side. And you can do a closer cut if you want to. This is, you know, I think it's okay because it's gray, and then the volume paper is also like a light gray. So it's going to look like this. So it almost looks like a trim. I kind of like it. Okay, so let's cut this and this and this will just go right here um can use this right because we need the thumb paper to stick so that's one side now let's do this side this one i need to trim a little bit more So now, instead of sticker paper, it's volume paper, and it's going to really show the lights so you can see that. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? All right, so we have this. Let's put it on top of the white, which of course is going to have foam tape. Oh man, just peeled it off. And on the car as, ugh, as well, I'm probably gonna want another layer. So I'm gonna go in and put another layer of foam tape so that it really stands out. And in case I haven't mentioned it, oh, that's already sticky. Um, I have my glue gun already plugged in, so you might wanna do that as well. Um, okay, so now while we're putting on the foam tape, I can talk about crafting with club. Crafting for crafting for cubs again. <laughs> All right, so it is definitely it came out because you know Barely Art is amazing. It's a fun design team, and they're looking for additional members right now. So if you are interested, go to their website and fill out the form. But I really like being on their design team. They're all about building the crafting community and. Um, just having like a feel good community. So, oops, let me put this back in. And so while I was on their design team, I'm still on their design team, I came up with this idea and they were totally supportive and told me that I can go at it. So basically for every craft kit that you make, go to their website and make a pledge because that's how we're keeping track. And, um, just tell us how many craft kits you're going to make and send in and each craft kit that you pledge is a donation or no, sorry is an entry into our raffle and we have amazing sponsors like there are so many awesome prizes so then all through the month of July you create the craft kit and then you send it in and that's it 
and then those kits go to these foster kids and hopefully you know they just have a moment to play with stickers um beautiful paper that they you know didn't have to go buy or ask someone to buy for them and they get to create something and that is meaningful to me that hopefully we're um creating this like spark and passion for crafting or just for creative arts in general um and maybe this isn't something that they're gonna love in the end but it gives them an idea for something else whatever it is just sparking this circle of creativity i'm all for it and it gives me chills each time i talk about it i hope that you find um find it worthy of your time so anyway that's all i will say on that okay so now this is on here you can see it's like it has you know a lot of depth to it and we're going to add over here okay and let's peel this off and the last thing that we're doing is the sign now i mean obviously i left the the red part blank but that's where you would put the name um, or whatever it is that you want to put there. Congratulations or happy birthday because you already have the name somewhere else. All right, so now we're putting this guy on. Okay, so that's on. You'll see in the back we have a spot for the light. So what's going to happen, it's going to sit like this. See, the spot is created. Um, these things have... Um, a little tip for the light so that's what's sitting inside we're gonna hot glue it all the way around so it's gonna stick in there then the only thing we need to do oh we need to shoot we need to cut out the slits on here so that the lights will go through so I forgot to do that that's what we should have done okay so I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna flip it over and darn it I already put the car on there oh uh, yeah all right so let's see how am I gonna do this um we're just gonna take a guess so it's about here so i'm just going to i know i'm eyeballing it i don't even know we'll see in a minute where this goes oh no way look at that <laughs> all right i know every once in a while i deserve a win all right right about here So this is how we kind of just go with the flow and, you know, make adjustments. <laughs> Let's see how well this worked out. Oh, perfect. So those balls will, you know, the lights will stick right there. Okay, perfect. Let's flip this around and continue. All right, so now we have our little sign. Look at this. I love this paper. It's from 12 by 12 cardstock. It has like a dark gray running through it. So it's kind of cool. Like it feels like a, a it's got that car vibe. Um, okay, so we're gonna put this down. Um, let's just add all our foam tape now. Now, when I cut this design, these two little tips right here, they also had a metallic piece to go with it I knew it I knew it in the design phase I didn't think that they were gonna make it but I decided it wasn't gonna be a big deal to cut it just to test it and then it didn't cut well so I'm just getting rid of it I'm not even gonna try to salvage it because it, then it looks horrible all right so here we go this piece goes down like so love it and then this little guy goes right here and this goes right here so cute and this is what I mean about you know just layering and then also having different textures for the paper it really makes a difference it just gives it the additional detail that makes it look well thought out and just um, like a good theme all right so let's put this down here Flip this one over. All right, so that's down. Next thing is this white layer. 
So let's put foam tape on this. You know my desk space is starting to fill up with these little tabs um the other thing that i will show you too is um these lights are on my amazon shop so if you go to my link my profile link and then click the smart bio and then you can click amazon shop they're on my amazon shop i bought both kinds this is the multi and this is the white lights i will show you once we put everything together so you can see the difference my personal preference is the multi i didn't think i was actually going to like that but i prefer that over the other one all right so i'm going to use because this is so thin i'm going to use this tape right here and obviously not have any foam tape in between because there's it's so thin so So pretty. Oh, let me put this down a little bit so you can see it. Right, it just gives it that shine, right? It's so cool. Um, all right, last piece going on is my red. Oh, here it is. And then if you had a name, it would go here. I would, I would do um, black and white. I think that would look really cool. I. You know, as usual, I would want an offset, so another set of layers for the name, but I think it would look really good right here. Okay, last one. And I would do any font. I know sometimes um, people want the actual cars font, but at this point, this theme is so spot on, I don't think that you need to have the font. And the only reason why I say that is because usually these fonts you have to download each letter. Like it's actually not a font that you can buy on Creative Fabrica, for instance. So I hate it because then if you have a long name, like my daughter Charlotte, I don't wanna have to download each one of those letters and then upload each one of those letters as a separate SVG file. So that's why I say you can use any font because I would use it for my own daughter, any font. Okay, um, let's put this last layer on and then We'll get to the fun part with the lights. So that's it. So then we'll put on the lights now. So I am going to, these are the multicolor ones. And oh, okay, here we go. I'm going to put it like this and then I'm going to flip it over so you can see. So this is the multi. So it's blue, red, and orange. I mean, that looks really cool, right? Okay, so let me, I like it just because um, I feel like the white light is too bright and it's just the white and it's going like this. Whereas this gives you a few different colors. It doesn't feel like it's right on your, your eyes. But here's the white. So, I mean, just look at how it's glowing in my hand. So you see, it just feels really, really bright. All right, so let me hold it there. Let me flip it over. And it feels like high beams. And they don't, if you can see, they don't really like blink. So it's just having lights on. Let me see if I can show you better. There. It's bright. I mean, it's kind of cool for this one, maybe, because it should be just regular lights. But that's why I prefer the multi. So I am going to, where are the, okay, here they are. Um, maybe I'll do the multi or the white ones on this because, oh, but the other ones are ruined. <laughs> I was going to show you the difference between the two, but these lights are almost dying. Um, all right. So I am going to do, I'll do the white lights on this one. I don't know why. Okay. So I'm going to put this in because they sit because there's a little spot for them. Right. And then I'm going to take my glue gun. And I'm just going to put glue all around. Whoa. Okay. And you still have some time to adjust. This hole is kind of big, so I just want to push the lights down. 
All right, and I can lift this up. You can see how the glue is, right? Then we're gonna put this over. Well, we're gonna put the dowel in too, but you can see how it sits on top and then you don't see the lights anymore. I mean, you can see the lights because we cut the holes kind of a little bit bigger than the other one, but they look fine because they're clear. I don't think it looks bad. So that's how it would look. Now, the, my other tip is when you're putting in your wood dowel, um, I always line up my cake topper, even if it's, there's always sort of like a straight line, right? Even if you're using bounce lettering and it's kind of up and down, but there is a middle straight, right? So you want to make sure like on this one, it's easy because you have this tip, this point. So I'm going to line it up to one of my lines here. And I'm going to stick my dowel in so that I can see, I'm going to follow this line so that my stick is straight. My cake topper is straight then. So this can go straight down and my cake topper is going to be fine. So I'm going to leave it here like this. And then I'm going to just glue it down here. Make sure that you don't glue where there's a hole, right? I mean, just so that you don't see the, the glue. Obviously, you're going to see the dowel right there. Um, you don't notice it that much, I don't think, but you know, it's right, right there. Okay. So this is down. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this has enough glue as well. So I'm just going to glue down a little bit. You can put glue on the stick. And because there's going to be space, we can always add more glue in between just to make sure that it's all stable. Look at that, yay. We're done, it's easy peasy, right? Um, so here you can pick up and maybe, you know, we can add a little bit of glue right here to make sure this stays down. Um, it's supported though. It feels good. I'm going to pull out the lights. And ta-da! Oh, it's good! <laughs> I'm going to put it here so you can see. I mean, the lights are bright, right? Um, so here are the two. So this, let me move all this out. Hold on, hold on. So again, this is um, shiny. This is matte paper. So you can see it's a little bit different. Let me turn on the lights on this one. Let me, give me a second, I'm gonna turn off this light. Oop, wrong way. And I'm gonna turn off the light over here. So look at, I mean, these are seriously high beams right there. And then this one's the colored one. It's not a fair comparison because I left these on for t over 24 hours. So you could see it's like dim. And then, oh, the other difference is we did vellum paper here and we, this is sticker paper that is shining sticker, you know, lights through the sticker paper. So let me flip it this way so you can kind of see what kind of lights. So you have more of a flicker on, you have a flicker on this one, the multi, and you get different colors. And then here's the back. So you can't see anything really from the back. And then here's the front. Yay! All right, let me know what you think, what you wanna see. I did have a question that I wanna address. So someone asked me, can they copy this design? You can copy any of my stuff. Um, I would love it if you tagged me though, just so that I can see what you do. And then, you know, just a little holler, that's kinda cool. But um, you can copy my designs, um, you can sell them. I, I'm not competing with you. I'm just showing you how to make things. And um, that's that's my feel. Now, I'm not speaking for, for all other creators, but that is definitely how I feel from my account. So feel free to do it. And then let me know what you think. All right, bye guys.